You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I will, Mom. I promise. Thank you, baby. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. You're nearly there, Peter. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I'm not worried. You're super, Mom. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hmm. I guess that makes you Super Peter. Mom, Star-Lord. That's my superhero name. Sorry, Star-Lord. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. Aw, where's the fun in that? Being good can be fun too. <laughs> Give me one example. I'll get back to you on that. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? <sighs> um, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is going to make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> You afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? What are you gonna do about it?
did you do? Peter, this wasn't my fault. He started it. And you could have stopped it. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. You promised me you wouldn't fight. And look what you did to that poor boy. I, I can't believe you. <coughs> Mom! Mom! Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. Okay, because this temple is really messing with my head. Hello, Gamora. Ah! Whoa, hey, Gamora. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You could do better than that. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Ah! Come on, this isn't fair. I don't have a sword. Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. You're not ready yet, Nebula. You still have a lot to learn. Oh, really? Is that what you think? like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. Assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, 
Gamora. <laughs> I'll interpret your silence as assent. Perhaps being bested by your sister recalled the importance of humility. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the general. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant. Father, I don't think this is a good idea. Nebula isn't ready. She's impulsive. Do not question my judgment. You have lost any confidence I had in you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... Everything is fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. That's not what it looked like. Nebula! Come here! 